The traditional ruler of Iwo, Abu Rashid Akombi, has lauded the governor of Ocean State, Boyegao Yetola, and his oil state counterpart, Governor Shei Makinde, for prioritizing the needs of the masses by approving the reconstruction of Oshobo Iwo Ibadan. The long stretch of road which connects the three towns was recently joint approved for reconstruction by both governors of Oshun and Oyo states under a collaborative effort named Alternative Funding Approach. Speaking to an inspection tour on the road, the Oluo of Iwo said he was elated that irrespective of the different political affiliations of both governors, they have the interest of the people. Thank God for this. This will be boost our economy and uh, it will take us from, uh, away from isolation. We have been isolated because of roads and uh, today we have broken the jinx that has bedeviled our society and our area for long. Today you can see kings here coming out and many other people and this is a breakthrough since the 70s, that's the last time they did this road. I think 78, 79. And today, this is a great. And uh, we are so happy that our people will not be suffering anymore. The engineer handling the 91 kilometer road, Lekon Adeleke, said with the commitment of the two states, the project would be completed in 18 months under the supervision of road management teams from both states. We have our people from the road management uh, office from uh, Oyo State and from Ocean State. We have about 30 of them on either side. Then we have our flagmen that are going to be diverting people to the alternative route. So very shortly, it's going to be good for everybody. The, it's expected that by the time we are done, the road fully constructed, uh, the time of movement between Ibado and Iwo will be 25 minutes and from Iwo to Shobo will be about 23 minutes. So the travel time is going to be like 48 minutes. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.